It's my favorite type of weather, cold but sunny. And it's Scorpio season, it's my birthday soon. Um, I just got an invoice paid. Life feels pretty good. birthday tomorrow and we're going out for dinner tonight Und Baby. She's the baby. She's the baby. Ich bin heute Abend gemacht, glaube ich. Super cute. to go for my daily morning walk I've been trying to do these every day sometimes for the purpose of like getting something from the supermarket other times just walking around kind of aimlessly and sometimes I go for like 10 minutes just around the block and then other times I'll end up walking for like an hour just depending on what I feel like it just helps me so much to get started into the day especially like the cold air and um, just like taking some time to think about what I want to get done that day and like reflect on the past days. And I have this technique that I already told you guys about on Instagram where I put on these big headphones and then I kind of like pretend that I'm on a phone call so that I don't look like a crazy person. And I basically just talk to myself out loud, which has kind of become my version of journaling because I used to try and journal every day because I know it's really beneficial but I just it just never stuck with me and something that works really well for me is saying things out loud and also like saying affirmations out loud so going okay I mean this week I'm doing this and this and this and I've got this thing coming up which is really exciting and then I have this coming up which I'm kind of worried about so sort of like you're talking to a friend which I don't know if that makes me sound lonely because I do have friends that I talk to about those things but it's it's basically like journaling. I feel like I'm an auditive person um, rather than written form. Like I'm much more visual and auditive. So I feel like that's why it works for me. So if you also fail at journaling like I do, maybe try it out. Anyways, we're going to go for a walk. Um, I'm going to take you around to some bits and bobs this week. Having a Christmas dinner with some friends on Saturday, which I'm really excited for because I love Christmas and I've been wanting to do... A sort of Christmas dinner at my place for ages and this year I'm finally getting around to it and obviously I've got my boyfriend living here now as well which is amazing because he cooks so well and we're gonna cook lots of yummy food together and I really want to like decorate the place nicely and I have to go to DM to get some stuff and then I'm also gonna go to Sestre Gena I never know how to pronounce that store but they have like a super cute um, decorations, wrapping paper, like all this kind of stuff um, and really affordable too. So I'm going to go in there, check it out and see what I can find and that's how I'm going to start my day. Now you guys know which shop I mean. I don't know why I struggle so much to pronounce, but let's go. We are actually thinking of getting a Christmas tree for Saturday's dinner, but I don't know if it's unnecessary. And I don't know if it's too expensive to do for basically one evening because neither my boyfriend nor I will be at home for actual Christmas. But when I see Christmas ornaments, I want to get a tree so bad. I think that these candy canes are always really cute decor. Like, I could put one of these on each dinner plate. But does anyone actually like these? 
I feel like they just end up getting thrown out, which is kind of a waste. But that's like a cheap, cute option, I guess. I feel like I could get something like this if we don't get a big tree. Like to put on the table. It's kind of cute. Right? I don't know. I'm so lost. Okay, this is actually what I was really coming to look for as well. Kind of thinking of something like this that's like festive, but still aesthetic. Also, these are really cute. Very cute, actually. This feels like it's gonna be the most difficult decision of my life. Can you tell that I'm an indecisive person? I've had breakfast. I've gotten ready quite obviously and i only ended up buying one thing i actually went into like three more stores and i only ended up buying these serviettes but i think they're gonna look really cute got some like ideas of what to do but it's kind of all depending on whether or not we get that christmas tree or not but i really just don't know if it's super necessary to do or if we should just say fuck it and get one. Anyways, I'm gonna meet my friend Greta and we're gonna take some photos, shoot some content. She has some clients to shoot for and I just need some new stuff to post on Instagram. And then, um, yeah, I think we're gonna hang out for a bit and then I'll go back home and then probably go to the gym and have dinner with my boyfriend. So that's the plan for today. Makeup's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, I can't um, film anything within the actual class because they don't allow phones or cameras or anything. Um, but I can highly recommend Milo. He's my favorite trainer of all time. And I usually go in Mitte because it's closer to me. But um, I missed his class in Mitte this week and I really, really wanted to see him and do a class. So I've come to Kudum and I'm spending the day here afterwards anyway. So it worked out fine. All done. This is where it goes down. Such a good class. Thanks, Milo. At the Luma, having matcha. Good in. So pretty. Winter. The winter wonderland. We're going to Club Kitchen for a very late lunch. If you're in Berlin during pre-Christmas season. You have to come to Kudam because it's one of the prettiest places to be. because I'm about to pick up my boyfriend from work then we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat and then go see Priscilla at the Priscilla movie premiere at the Delphi Film Palast which is exciting because I really wanted to see the movie anyways and I'm so so happy that they invited me I'm glad that I can take my boyfriend I've never been to Delphi Film Palast and I've really been wanting to go and I'm just looking forward to tonight but I'm glad that I haven't left yet. I'm about to leave the house, but I just got a package delivered. It's from Caseify, and if you've been following me for a while, you might have noticed. I've had this case on pretty much the whole year, which is also from Caseify, and I've had their cases ever since I can remember, like for so long, because to me, they're just the best because my phone doesn't break with them. I drop my phone all the time because I'm super clumsy. 
and um, I don't even want to say that too loud, but I have not broken my screen in years and I'm pretty sure it's thanks to these cases. I'm excited because I picked out two new cases. They've got this mirror series, which I thought was really, really cool. So I picked out two of those. Come in these cute little packages. This is the first one. I saw this on Instagram and you can tell right away. It is actually a real mirror. Satisfying. Oh, love this one. Super edgy, really unique. Even though there's a design on here, I can like use this to line my lips or check my makeup, which is really, really brilliant. I also love the fact that it's got a silver frame instead of the black, which you can customize, by the way. I customize the silver frame. That's what I really like about their cases as well, is that you can customize so much. Like with pretty much all of the designs, you can choose different frames, different types of casings, and you can also get like totally customized ones with your name on them, which is really cute. I think, yes. That is so cute. Okay, this one is, I think, my favorite. This one's so, so cute. This one's got little bunnies and bows on there. Okay, I've chosen this one for tonight because I feel like it kind of goes with my top really well. And like I said before, I had the other phone case on for almost a year, so I don't change it very often. And when I do, it just feels like a brand new me, a brand new phone, though it's just a new case and I always love it. And yeah, I just really, really love Caseify and I'm so happy to be working with them. And I'm even happier to offer you guys a discount code. It's my full name. 10 so maximian hansen 10 and with that you can save 10 percent on case of products maybe you want to get yourself a new case for the new year maybe you want to get someone a christmas present again you can get like fully personalized cases they're just the best in the game in my opinion because again have not broken my screen in a long time let's go see priscilla i'm so excited i um, gonna see how much I can film. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to vlog any of the actual movie, but um, I'm really excited. Let's go. <laughs> Cinderella. It's Thursday evening. I've spent the day working from home and I also bought some more Christmassy decorations for Saturday. I'm going to two events tonight. I'm going to Kess Beauty first and then to the Apropos store on Kudam because they're having a jewelry pop up. Yeah, and I'm taking my friend Leah and we're going to see some other friends and have some drinks and just have like a fun evening. I'm really excited actually. I just had like a Mexican bowl for dinner and all I can taste is this really sharp onion taste in my mouth. If you're wondering what I use on my skin, because I get a lot of questions, I use this Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint at the moment and I love it, love it, love it. I really need some music to get in the mood. I don't know if you can sense my energy, but it's still kind of low right now. Not in a negative way, but I'm just like, I'm here and I want to get up here. And 50 is always gonna do that for me. I got the magic stick. I am the baddest chick. I'm gonna take my time. She gonna get hers before I. Makeup's all done, and now I just have to figure out what to wear in minus two degrees while still looking cute. I found gum for my onion breath and. I've also found an outfit that I hope is cute but warm. Boots are from Aloha's and then I have these wool knee-high socks underneath. This skirt is from, oh my gosh, I think Zara, but really old. This sweater is from Drycorn and this coat is from Revolve, but also super old. And then this bag is vintage Prada and earrings are Pilgrim. Let's go. Just 
Guys, we're back at Kudam. The most special place pre Christmas. Woo! Everywhere you go. Saturday. I'm in the middle of making mashed potato. We've got goulash going on over here and it's gonna be a good dinner. It's getting cheesy. Yeah. He also made some yeah. goulash with goulash. What's it in English? Well, I was just wondering, wild gulash? <laughs> Dinner. Girl, dinner. 